All right, hey, I'm here with Ashton Kirby, Rock City MMA, 7-1. Man, you got a big title defense with B3 this coming weekend? Yes, sir, absolutely. What, what do you know about your opponent, Jonathan Williams? I yep. know he's going to come in tough. He knows you're tough. Take us through it. What do you know about him? Um, I've seen one video from him just off of YouTube. You know, you always got to look the guy up. But uh, um, I see, you know, a lot of striking coming from him, but wild. You know, that that was a year ago, so hopefully that changed. Hopefully we can get some – some nice good exchanges going on, but um, it, um, I, I do see him coming in with wild, wild hooks, wild overhands, um, just wild shots. So uh, needless to say, you got I know I know your dad Nathan, man. He he, <laughs> he works out all the all the quirks and in the moves. So I know you guys got a game plan. But down to the technique, yes sir. So man, let's let's just go back a little bit, and you won your first title in 2018. You got the pyramid fights, lightweight title, B3 lightweight title, Summit FC lightweight title. In January, you're going for your fourth lightweight title. Man, that's, I mean, if I didn't know him better, you got a new hobby, collecting titles. Yes, sir. That's, I mean, that's what we're going for, right? I mean, yeah. Got to start taking those belts. I so, I mean, really the only one left in Arkansas is uh, MMA Max uh, Fighting Championships. Is that is that on the game plan later on uh, in 2020? Yeah, that's a new one I've heard, so let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you collect them all, huh? I'll do it. I know. I mean, so, you got to try at least. So, so Arkansas, I'll, I'll travel around. Man, I mean, it's like you just got out of high school and you've already got three amateur titles, man, from three different organizations. How's that make? How, how's your uh, uh, friends and stuff? You know, when you go around your friends, how do, how do they treat you? Knowing that you know you're a big time amateur champion, man. Oh, I'm just another one of the guys. You know, <laughs> no no problem. I mean, they'll, we'll joke around and stuff, but no, they they love it. So, man, you know, growing up, uh, you know, your dad Nathan Kirby, he was he was an MMA fighter. Mm -hmm. Did, do you remember some of his fights when you was growing up, and, and and how did you react to some of his fights? I mean, was it, you know, I'm gonna be like my dad. I wanna, you know. And I'm sure. I mean, I've been to a few of his fights, and I'm sure if you've seen my face, I mean, I was just, my face was just lit up, you know, like eyes wide open and jaw dropping. But I mean, I loved it. You know, I, I grew up in the gym. They had an actual weightlifting gym, so I, I grew up in the gym, and he even had, you know. It wasn't right, but uh, he had fights down under the basement. So, I mean, I, I'm sitting on the basement <laughs> stairs watching fighters just go at it, and I'm sitting there just like, yes, you know, I'm loving it. So, absolutely, this is, so, this is in the genes. How old was you when you when you, when you you told yourself, that, man, I want to be like my dad. I, I want to do this for, you know, a career. Or... Um, I remember, I think it was third grade, actually. I remember going in third grade, and it was like uh, – like a Halloween costume dress-up party, you know, and I'm going in school, and I was an MMA fighter. I remember down in, in, in third grade, I wanted to be an MMA fighter. So, yeah. so uh, now you just recently, uh, uh, you got on the front row management? First round. First round first management round. with uh, Matt Weeble and Matt, my, Matt Weeble, yes, sir. So how, how'd that work out? I mean. Oh, I'm, I'm loving it so far. He's setting up fights. I mean, you already know we got the January set up. We got some more fights in, I think, February set up. So. Well, I know Matt's got some killers on that roster, man. Yeah. And he puts, I, I want to get down there and, and see one of them fights down there. But So, yeah, man, you, well. you got the big uh, the title defense this weekend, B3, Jonathan Williams. And then you go to peak fighting championships in January. Mm -hmm. that would be another collection. It'll be your fourth title. So, what is your goal, man? What 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 is your goal, and h how soon are you wanting to reach them? Man, I, I just want to keep getting better. You know, I, I think from the, f you know, well, I, I started, you know, MMA and grappling. I started doing tournaments, and I, I love doing tournaments. I mean, that's where I started, you know, get finding the momentum to to continue it yeah. is during the tournaments, just grappling and and. Just loving it, you know, loving the experience. Win or lose, it didn't matter. I just always felt myself getting better and better and better, and I, that's always what I wanted. I just wanted, I just want to make myself, you know, the best I can be. You know, yeah. that's it. Period. So I mean, if if you know, taking more fights, fight after fight, going for more titles, if that's the way the, the route to do it, then absolutely, I'm down for it. So I just keep training my ass off, and it is what it is. You know. So is there a time limit uh, when when you might take that next step as uh, being a professional or? 
No, no time limit. I mean, this is going to be on myself. You know, I, I think that's a, a, a personal decision to be made. But uh, once once I feel my time is is up, my time's coming. You know. And so do, uh, you're still 18. You got a birthday 19. coming. You just turned yeah, 19. Just turned 19. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I remember I come over and uh, celebrate with yeah. you guys. And uh, so out of the three title fights, which one was your toughest? <laughs> mm. Man, that's a tricky one. I know you you had you got one with uh, Marshall Kemp, yeah, uh, and then Kevin was... Peace, and then uh, the Summit down there with uh, mm-hmm. I can't think of his name. I'm I, it my just bad. But... Out of my head too. I can't remember. <laughs> but I would definitely say that five round war with Marshall Kemp was number one. Man, that was a war. I, I, I tell you what, I've never been so excited in a fight in my, all my life in, in that fight right there, and it was a it war. It surprised me. I'll be honest. It surprised <laughs> me. I I didn't think it was going to go the way it did. But... Yeah. All right, man. So, I mean, you got the first title defense coming up Saturday. How you feel? You on weight? You yeah, you got to cut very much, or Perfect. nope? I don't cut. I don't cut too much. You so, know, try and keep my body nice and ready to go. Yeah, cool, and cool. Yeah, I'm cool. You're gonna have a big crowd down there. I know, oh, I've yes. covered them fifty three so. fights down there, boy. And they they do got some good crowds yeah, down we, there. We got, I got a lot of family and friends going down buying tickets, so. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a good one to watch. All right, man. So, anything else you want to add, uh, Ashton? I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, for you. I mean, hey, that's <laughs> number one fan right here. Oh, you know? I'm telling you, man. I I can't. I just get. It makes me feel young. Let me put it that way. <laughs> when I see you guys fight, I know uh, that fight this past weekend with uh, AJ and Solo. Man, I tell you what, if that don't put it in your blood, I don't know what will. But yeah, I was watching that. I mean, instantly wanted me to come in the gym and start training. You know, just because I mean, I don't know, that's like motivation to the max. Yeah, it's just in- inspiring to watch people. You know, go at it and just put like pour their ha- hearts out. You know, yeah. and, and put it on the line like that. Oh, Man, that fight could have been on a national TV uh, worldwide, and people would have freaked out over it because yeah. it was a good fight. But... So Ashton, any. Anybody you want to give a thanks to, a shout out, you know, man, you take all the time you want. You anything you want to add, you go for it, man. You know, I'm always thankful for my teammates. I try and say that every every time I, you know, get in front of a camera or a screen or in, anywhere. I'm 100% thankful for my teammates. I can't do it without them. You know, I, I, I need partners to push me and, and keep continue to push me. So, and, and them coming in, you know, being loyal to me and loyal to us is, is you know, unreal. But I, lo- I love it. So, thank you, team. Uh, I just want to say thank you, Dad. You know, that's my number one supporter right there. My number one inspiration is you. So, thank you. Keep pushing me. I know sometimes, you know, I'll snap at you, but you <laughs> snap right back. So, keep pushing me. Thank you. So, man, you, you, you've got an older brother in because uh, he, he goes to school at Memphis. Yep. How, I, I, I've always wondered how come he didn't follow in you and your dad's footsteps? Is, uh, is he I, just got different set goals? or? Yeah, I think so. I think he um, – I don't know. People, I don't know, pick their own path, you know. And you know, Colton did have a, a, a MMA fight. He had one amateur MMA fight against Michael Walker and Michael Walker. Was oh no joke. man, I, that's yeah. right. I remember that now, man. That was Kingdom Promotions, wasn't yeah, it? That was, yeah, that was on Dad's promotion. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I mean, th- three round battle going back and forth, but Colton <laughs> lost to a decision. Yeah. And I mean, after that, he loved it. He loved the experience. He still yeah. continues to fight. You know. Um, not smart. He fights in bars and stuff. Shame on you, <laughs> by the way. But um, and you know it's, it's in the blood, so he continues. But he he wanted to do something else. So so and uh, you know I got a brother sixteen months older than me, man. And we fought like man. I mean we fought I got like holes in my bedroom wall for me. <laughs> We bodies, didn't tell you, man. I, bodies were being Oh, thrown. man, I tried to I put a hole in Mama's wall one time. Right? We tried to hide it, and we couldn't do it, but we both got our butts whooped. But. Brotherly love, that's all it is. Yeah. So so who who was the toughest growing up? I know you guys had to fight all the time. Who, who was the toughest? Well, I mean, Colton was always, you know, being the bully. I'll, I'll give him that. He was always the bully. So he tries to antagonize yeah. me and get it out of me, so – I would I would think he was the toughest because I was a little crybaby. Still am, but uh, <laughs> no, he, he was he, he's fine. So so here's one more man. So let's talk about your your mother for a minute. So has your mother changed now from when you fought to when you first started? Is there a difference in the way she? 
like reality. I mean, I've seen mothers want to climb in the cage after their, you know, if their son getting getting whooped on, they want to climb in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean, mom, mom's always, you know, a little nervous and anxiety, but I mean, you give her a Jack and Coke, she's fine. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Ashton Kirby, seven and one, Rock City MMA, this weekend making his first title defense, V three. Is that, is that Minglewood? Is yes, it Minglewood? Minglewood this? Hall. Minglewood Hall. Be there. Man, this guy is a this guy is a rising star to the max. Going for it. Thank you, Ashton. Thanks so much.